Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is looking at um, vectors. So I'm going to do something similar to what we did today. So this is a vector defined by its direction and by its magnitude. So I'm going to call this exactly like we had this morning, 27 degrees. This is going to be 8.9. Then we've got another vector, which is a very steep and longer vector. And I'm going to define it by its angle here. And I'm going to call that 78 degrees. And the length of the vector is going to be 11.7 degrees. So the way we add vectors is we take this one here and we slide it over to here. So it's going to look something like this when we put it together. This vector at 27, and this vector on the end there. This is the addition of the vectors, okay? It's as if you walked along this one, and you walked along this one, you're adding these two vectors. It's the same as going from there to there, okay? So I'm trying to calculate the size and direction of this vector. So the size I'm going to do, and I'm going to try and calculate this angle, and I'm going to call it alpha. Well, we know that angle is 27 degrees, okay? We know that this angle here is 90 minus 78, okay? And that, so that's 12 degrees. And this angle, because this is a right angle triangle, must be 90 minus 27. So we do 90 minus 27, and we get the angle 63. So this angle here 63. Now that makes that entire angle here, 63 plus 12 equals 74 degrees, okay? So we know the length of the long vector, it's 11.7, okay? We know the length of the short vector, it's 8.9. So by using the cosine law with these one, two, three things, we can calculate this length here. So I'm going to call this A, and I'm going to just do it. So A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. So A squared is equal to 11.7 squared plus 8.9 squared minus 2 times 11.7 times 8.9 times the cosine of 74 degrees. If we solve that, let's plug it into our calculator. 11.7 squared plus 8.9 squared equals minus 2 times 11.7 times 8.9 times the cosine of 74, close the brackets, equals, okay, so that means that A squared is 158.696 implies that A is equal to the square root of that, okay, which is 12.6, correct the three significant points. Okay, so now we've got this. Now I want to calculate this entire angle here. Okay, so I need the two sides, which would be this side and this side, and the angle between them will give me this. So I'm going to rewrite it, 11.7 squared, because that's the opposite side to that angle, is equal to this side squared here, which is 12.6 squared, plus this side squared, 8.9 squared, minus 2 times 12.6 times 8.9 times cosine A. So I'm calling that angle A for now. All right? So I'm just going to do that count. 11.7 squared minus 12.6 squared minus 8.9 squared equals minus 6.2 9, 6 equals minus 2, da, 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 and all this stuff here, okay? So I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 12.6, divide by 8.9, and I'm going to get a terrible, terrible, terrible mistake, okay? So I must have got a huge mistake. I must have... How did, I, how did that happen? Okay, let's try this again, okay? 6.296... Divided by 2, divided by 12.6, divided by 8.9, gives me 0 0.02 it is equal to cos A. Okay? So A is equal to inverse cosine answer, 88.39 degrees. So 88.4.
So if A, the total of A, is equal to 88.4 degrees, then the angle that I'm really interested in, alpha, is equal to, let me push this up a bit, alpha, 88.4 minus this bit of the angle here, which is 27. Okay, minus 27. So 88.4 minus 27 is equal to 61.4 degrees. So the answer is this. Sum of these two vectors is uh, the size 11, no, 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 no. 12.6, 12.6 at 61.4 degrees south of east. Why south of east? Because I'm calculating the angle there. That's east, and I'm moving south of east.